Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I did a tutorial on how to edit your GoPro videos and uploading them to Instagram. In that video, I did a quick little sequence and I asked whether or not you guys wanted me to do a tutorial on that. Someone said yes, so that's what I'm gonna do today. In this tutorial, you're gonna need either Adobe After Effects or Adobe Premiere Pro, CS6 I'm using, and also Photoshop. That's gonna make things a lot easier. So let me stop talking now and let's just get started on this tutorial. All right, so I have my clip imported here and it's me flipping. To make this a lot easier for yourself, you wanna to try, to try to get a video of you doing something sort of like this, but with a better background, without like umbrellas or people or a jetty. Um, like if I was higher in the sky here, it would make it a lot easier to do because what we're gonna have to do is like take these screenshots, import them into Photoshop, and then cut myself out. So another thing that would make this a lot easier for yourself is if you have a still camera. The camera cannot move. So because the camera is moving, we're gonna have to use warp stabilizer to make sure that the camera does not move. We don't want the camera to move at all because then it just won't be possible. So I'm gonna drag the warp stabilizer effect onto the, onto the video clip and we're just gonna cancel it real quick. And what we want, we don't want, we don't want any motion. So we're gonna choose no motion. And then we're gonna click analyze and let it do the whole stabilization. So as you saw before, when I played through the clip, the camera moved from right to left slightly, not much, but once this is done, it's gonna keep the camera still. It's not gonna you know, move at all. And that's gonna make things a thousand times easier. So Warp Stabilizer is done analyzing the clip and it's there's no motion anymore. So if we watch that through real quick, you can see the camera is completely still. It's not moving. Now, like I said, the best way to do this is to just put your camera on a tripod or something that does not move and to just film your record yourself doing your action or whatever it is. That's going to be the easiest way so you don't have to bother using Warp Stabilizer. So now that we have a stable shot, what we want to do is choose the three different um, clips that we want to add to our sequence. So I'm flipping here and I think I want to grab a still from about right there. So make sure that you have this set to full so it's full resolution, it's best quality possible. And we're going to hit the export frame button down here. We're going to hit that and then choose the location of where you want that still to go. So I have a GoPro sequence tutorial here and then I have my still shots. I'm going to select that folder and then what I'm going to do is just put, um, we'll just put flip one. That's going to be my first flip and we'll just save that. So that's one and we're going to do two more. So I'm going to take another one from like right there. So we'll do export frame. We'll do flip two and we're going to get one more. We're going to do flip three about right there. Flip three. So now when we look at those three clips, we go to still shots. So we got that, that, and that. So the next thing to do is to get those three clips, those three uh, images in Photoshop. So I have Photoshop here and here are the three images that we captured. So I got flip one, flip two, flip three, and we're just gonna click open and they should pop up. Um, so we're gonna start with flip one. I'm gonna go to window, arrange, cascade and just minimize all that. And we'll start with this one. So I'm gonna increase the percentage here to get a little closer. Go to the side. And now I'm just gonna start outlining myself. So I'm gonna use this tool, the quick selection tool, and we're gonna do plus, and we're just gonna start outlining my body. So this is where I say it gets kinda tricky and it, you know, it's gonna take some time to do the whole thing because um, you'll see that it'll start going out here and all that stuff. So we're going to have to do the minus tool and just start going all around. So I don't want to bore you with this. I'm just going to finish outlining myself and then I'll come right back. All right, so I think I have it outlined as best as I can. 
Um, I think there are ways to get this even more precise, but I don't know Photoshop that well. So um, I don't know how to do that. I have to look that up. But um, maybe you do, and you could tell me in the comments or something like that. But this is the best I could do right now uh, for outlining myself. So what you want to do now is just do Control X or Control C. I'll just do con uh, Control C. And I'm going to go to File, New and then make sure it's transparent and then just click OK and then control V to paste it back in. So you'll have yourself or me, I'll have myself here um, cut out. And what you want to do is save this image as a PNG. So we're going to do save as and then go to PNG because that saves the, uh, the transparency. And I'm going to name it the same way. I'm going to do flip one but I'm going to do an underscore um, cutout or whatever. Just flip one, underscore cutout, and then click Save, click OK. Now, before I go to the next one, next two to, cu uh, to cut myself out, I'm going to go to the uh, Premiere here and import that one clip that I just saved. So we're going to go to Still Shots, flip one, cutout, import that. Now, I'm going to move this to this part where I think I'm about, I'm about like right here or something. And I'm going to put that on top. I'm going to drag that on top. And it looks like that's not the right spot. I think I have to go right there. All right, that looks pretty much the right clip. So... Next, what you want to do is make sure this is selected, flip one cutout, and go to motion. And we're going to position it in the exact same spot. So we're going to go up a little bit. And we have to go to the left a little bit more. And down a little bit. So that looks about right. So you want to make sure you start it right in that that point where that part comes in. So I'm going to make this shorter and end it there. And I'm going to make this a quarter of the uh, resolution just so it'll play back smooth so you could see it. Um, so let's start it from the beginning and play it back. So that's not playing back smooth enough because I'm doing a recording, but let's just do a frame by frame. So you could see me flip like this and then that comes in and then I continue on and now we just got to get the next um, cutout of myself and then the one after that. So I finished doing the cutout of the other two images so I got uh, flip two cutout and flip three cutout so I'm going to open them up and bring them down in here and um, the next part that we have to do is to find the next section of where this clip needs to go so I think it's right there, so we want to highlight this, go to motion, and put that in the correct spot. So that's about right, about right there. No, a little bit up more. That looks perfect. So we'll see that, that, and now the last one goes right about. Oops, wrong one. Flip three. <laughs> the last one goes, where does it go? So we want to move this and bring it down and then back a little bit. So that looks perfect. Um, so now the end of the video clip is here. So we want to make this as long as that clip. Um, so that should be it. So that's the first frame, that's the second one, and then the third one. So it's literally as simple as that. I exported the video clip. Now let's see if we could play it back and uh, see how it looks. Awesome. Looks really good. So that concludes this video. I hope you found it helpful. If it did, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe because I put out videos at least once a week. 
And if you have any ideas for another video that I should do, just let me know down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.